I died. I didn't die, people. I didn't die. I'm here. I'm alive. Yeah, I'm very much alive and well. It's been a while. I know I shouldn't have kept you waiting. But I'm here now. Um, I have no clue why I had to make that intro so damn dramatic, but then again, I am a dramatic bitch, so I guess it makes sense. If you're all not new around here, hey bestie, hope you're doing well, I know it's been a long last time, you're probably wondering where the hell I've been, and I will get to that, don't you worry. And if you are new around here, hi, I'm Cyber Fairy. Come and join us fairy princesses. This is a safe space for anyone with a passion for fashion. I love you all. You're beautiful. And never forget that everyone is a princess. I have so many video ideas that I cannot wait to share with you all. So you should like totally subscribe so you like don't miss out. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm sure everyone here knows who Baddie Suki is, but in case you don't, she's a character from Too Fast, Too Furious and a Y2K fashion icon. I have selected her and Letty from the first Fast and Furious because I think they are both girl bosses who slayed the game and ate up every fit that they wore. I also have a surprise bonus outfit at the end of the video, so please stick around and no skipping forward. I'm looking at you, Erica. Just kidding, if your name is Erica, you're a cutie patootie, I love you, and I'm sorry if I scared you. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we have outfit numero uno. Okay, bilingual queen, those grade one Italian classes really paying for themselves. Now, this fit is giving me military brat vibes and I am totally living for it. Would I wear this outside? Look, maybe if I buttoned up the pants. I think Letty looks so hot in this outfit, I wish I had her shoes because they are literally fire. Like just look at them. So we've got the camo pants, very Y2K, the exposed undies, also very Y2K, and I just think that this outfit, for me at least, is the epitome of Letty, and that is why it's totally badass. Okay, and now we have Letty giving date night realness. I paired this one with some heeled boots because I thought that they would really bring the look together. As far as I'm aware, she wears the same shoes from the last outfit. Honestly, snake print is something I would not typically buy, but this outfit is low-key making me question why I haven't worn it before. It's cute, it's sexy, I love how Letty rocks everything and just makes it look so effortless and badass. Sadly, I was not blessed with that ability, however, I still enjoyed living the fantasy in this fit. Next up, we have the most recognizable outfit for Suki. I have to just quickly pause for a second just to explain that I wish I sized up in these pants because they barely fit. And I mean, barely fit. Like, they made that awful ripping sound when I was trying to put them on. Yeah, you know the one, bitch. And 
I initially was going to wear the denim shorts for accuracy under them like she does, but baby, they were never gonna fit if I did that. So if you notice that they look like they are about to break, it's probably because they are. Anyway, I think it still turned out. I think this outfit screams Y2K and it's just giving me hot Barbie vibes personally. I adore the fact that they let Suki embrace the colour pink. I don't know about you guys, but I went through a way too long phase of rejecting the colour pink and anything else considered girly up until way too recently. And yes, I am embarrassed to admit that. And now I'm glad to say I'm reformed and pink is my favourite colour hands down, in case you couldn't tell. The pink car combined with the pink ensemble just gives me everything I needed to heal my inner child. That's all. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Alrighty, outfit number four. You have probably noticed that these pants have made a comeback and for good reason. I will not tell a lie, I am not obsessed with how this one looks on me, which is a bit of a bummer because it's such a serve on Suki, but please hype me up in the comments nonetheless. Thank you my babies. Outfit number 5 is another iconic Suki look that you probably recognize. Again, I just wasn't totally living for this fit on myself. I don't know why, but the skirt was just giving me kilt when I had it on. Nevertheless, she cute, no complaints, a great combination of tomboy and girly styles, and yeah, I honestly don't have much to add besides that, so I'm just gonna take this brief time to say please like the video if you're enjoying it. I put a lot of effort into compiling these looks, and it'd just really mean a lot to me. Okay, thanks, love you, bye. We are at that time, ladies. It's the final surprise outfit. It's not from the Fast and Furious franchise, it's a look from another movie Devin Aoki starred in called Debs. If you haven't heard of it before, that's okay, you still have time to be forgiven and go watch it. After this video, obviously. In the movie, Devin plays Dominique, one of four schoolgirls who are recruited as spies. Yes, you heard that right. I won't say too much more, but it's funny in camp and you should totally go watch it with your gal pals for a funny thing. However, I do feel personally victimized by this one part in particular. Australia's toast. What's your beef with the Australians? I don't like their attitude. Okay. Also, I have to quickly mention my camera did me so dirty and decided to switch to manual focus for some reason during this filming. So, no, you're not going blind, sweetie. It's just the footage is a bit out of focus. So, nobody please bring it up in the comments. Thank you so much. Now, I know that my outfit isn't identical to hers, each of the girls adds their own style to their looks, so I kind of embrace that in my recreation of this outfit. I do wish that I had a longer button-up shirt to tie up in the front like hers, but I'm still happy with how this turned out. I also opted to add some knee-high socks just because I didn't feel entirely comfortable wearing these shoes without socks. I don't know, it just kind of gives me the ick. And while we're on the topic of these shoes actually, I would let them get me pregnant. Yes, that's TMI, I know, but they are just so gorgeous. They do also make me like six foot three, and I like having that kind of power. Alrighty, well, if you stuck around for this long and listened to my annoying ass ramble, Thank you so frigging much. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did making this video. Please, please show some support if you feel so inclined to do so. And I'd love it if you subscribed so when I do upload next, we can hang out again. On a serious note, you guys have been so welcoming and kind to a little anxious baby like me. Shout out to everybody with social anxiety, am I right? Oh, shout out to everybody with social anxiety. I kind of feel sorry for you. Oh yeah, yeah. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you were one of the beautiful girlies who saw my first video and showed its support, then I love you so, so much. And welcome back. I'm so excited to have you. So first things first, I'm the realist, sorry I couldn't help myself. 
I've got to mention the comment section from my last video. It was immaculate. You guys are actually so cute and I want to thank these girlies in particular for their lovely comments and I appreciate you all so 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 much. I also want you guys to know that I showed my boyfriend every single one of your comments with the dorkiest smile on my face because you guys are just so damn sweet. You melted my tiny emo heart for real. Anyway, I will try to keep this short and sweet and give a brief explanation as to my main reasons why my ass mysteriously disappeared. So, firstly, a big part of it was I actually broke my film camera while making a video, and obviously that threw a big old spinner in the works. And I also actually ended up moving house twice last year, so I just never got to a point where I felt totally settled and ready to film. But at the end of the day, I know that ultimately it was procrastination and laziness that stopped me from making content for all you pretty people, and I really want to change that. So please stick around, subscribe if you haven't, I cannot believe that there are over 200 of you sexy biatches, and leave a like so we can indoctrinate more fairy princesses to our safe little place on the internet. Also, one last thing, I cannot believe that we got the last video to 11,000 views. That is insane to me. Let's keep that energy going, girls. I will actually be refilming the Jennifer's Body video sometime soon because I have included some new outfits. And yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna shut the hell up now. I love you guys so, so much and hope the rest of your day is amazing just like you. Okay, peace out. Bye.